let's try this question the number of ways in which a student can choose five courses out of eight courses when two courses are compulsory now if the two courses are compulsory so he has to now choose only three courses and from the remaining five courses because from uh, from the remaining six courses right so eight courses are there two are compulsory so he has to choose there is no choice at all so from the remaining six courses he has to choose three more courses to make five courses so six c three so that is six into five into four by six so it's 20 and uh, what 6c3 is this is 6c3 right this is 6p3 this is 6c3 so it's 20 okay now friends let's see this question uh, the question is from previous year papers of cat so let's do it the sides a b b c and c a of a triangle a b c have three four five interior points respectively on them so the number of triangles that can be constructed using three these interior points as vertices so first of all i just draw this triangle wait a moment so i have this triangle a b c right on one side we have three points on one side we have four points right and then on the other side we have five points now in all we have like 12 points right and, and it takes three points to make a triangle right so how many combinations will we get from this uh, 12 points that is 12 c3 that means three uh, we, we have to take three 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 vertices uh, to make one triangle so in all we'll be getting 12c3 combinations right now we have already discussed that from the collinear points we do not get triangles so we need to eliminate the combinations of three three vertices when the points are on a straight line right so these three points are on a line so we need to deduct the combinations obtained by these three points right so it's minus 3c3 here four points are collinear so we need to deduct all the combinations uh, from this so it's 4c3 now here there are five points on this line so we need to deduct the combinations obtained by this uh, five points so it's 5c3 right so it's 12c3 that is 12 into 11 into 10 by 6 3c3 is 1 4c3 is 4 and 5c3 is 5c2 so it's 5 fours are 20 by 2 10 right so it's 220 minus 15 right so it is 205 triangles will be formed right i hope you are clear and the similar problem we have discussed in our previous session as well so i hope uh, you won't be getting any difficulty over here to understand that we will not be getting triangles by combining the points which are on a straight line right so we did good number of problems in this session our friends will be taking more problems more challenging problems in fact in the next session do revise this session and the previous sessions as well because now the level of difficulty of the problems will be increasing okay and you need to be conceptually clear otherwise the sessions will be really like a, a pain for you right and why I'm telling you so because I don't want you to lose the confidence in permutation and combination because good number of students are confused in this topic right and why I'm putting so much effort and I'm solving so many problems so you can get good uh, amount of confidence on this topic because it's really an interesting topic and easy to understand right so if you put efforts it will be really easy task for you if you do not want to put effort then you just leave this topic because if you leave this topic then simultaneously you have to leave the topic probability also and uh, if we combine both the topics so at least two to three problems from these two topics maybe more than that uh, are coming in various entrance examinations right so i don't think there is any scope but if you feel like then you can drop them and but if you wish to learn so do revise the sessions okay and try practice a lot okay see you in the next session once again